So we have a whole mess of wires coming out from under our couch here that we use to charge our Kindles and phones and tablets and what have you. But instead of tripping on this anymore, I'm gonna build a console table that's gonna go behind the sofa and I'm gonna include built-in charging stations. That way, I can clean this up because one face plant is one face plant too many. So I'm building this sofa table out of two by six, but I'm testing some stain on a scrap two by four to make sure I like the color first. I wipe it on with a rag, let it sit for a few minutes to allow the stain to absorb, then wipe it off with a clean dry rag. I'm happy with the color, but I'm going to do two coats to deepen the gray tone a bit more. When it's dry, you can also add a polyurethane top coat to add some sheen, but just note that the polyurethane has a really strong odor and that can last a long time. It can take up to a month before the smell actually dissipates. I'm gonna miter my corners here at a 45 for a cleaner look. This table is gonna be 64 inches wide by 31 inches high. It'll end up about a half inch lower than the top of my sofa back. Always make sure to glue your mitered corners. Carpenter's glue works great. If you have a corner clamp, you can use it here, but since I don't have one handy, I'm just gonna line up my corners and tack them together with some brad nails and then let the table sit for a couple of hours. Always double check that your corners are square before you let the glue set up. I'm going to add some brackets to the corners to give this table a little more of a rustic look. These brackets and the one and a half inch lag bolts I'm using didn't come in black, so I just bought a can of matte black spray paint and did the job myself. This screw isn't really necessary, but I'm throwing it in anyway. Now I need to mark where the brackets are going and pre-drill the holes for the leg bolts. If you've painted your bolts and brackets like I have, be careful when you're tightening up with a ratchet. You don't want to scratch up the paint too much, but then again, it is supposed to be rustic, so what's a few scratches? Now, I'm gonna pick the spots to install the wireless charger and the recessed power outlet. I'm only adding one of each at the moment, but depending on how this functions for the family, I may end up adding a few more. The wireless charger just clips into the 60 millimeter hole I drilled, but the power outlet needs to be screwed together with a ring from the bottom. I'll put a link for both of these items in the description below. And now, once it's all tightened up, I'm ready to move this table to its new home behind my sofa and plug everything in.
I'm going to be honest with you. My dad builds a lot of cool stuff, but I think this table is the coolest. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. Hit the little bell to get notified when we put out a new video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, bye.